Hello viewers. In today's episode, something happened. The game music is just loud, all right? I tried turning it down before I started recording. I did the testing. I don't know what happened. You can still hear me, and it's still a great episode. It's just the music is a little louder than I would have liked, all right? And to show how sorry I am, I wrote you guys a little song. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the game music today It's really loud but I wanted to post anyway I wrote this song so you wouldn't be too mad Is it working cause TBH this song's kinda bad So sit right down, watch me mess up Luba's life I'm making really bad decisions just to be on Candy's wife Dumpster food is the best And I'm a hard mess Hello viewers, welcome back to another episode of Always Sometimes Monsters. It has been quite a while, I am so sorry, but you know what, after I stole from that old lady, I had to do a bit of soul searching. It really affected me, okay? I feel terrible about that, that's what I get for not reading, but this time, this time, I'm actually gonna read properly before I make decisions. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Now, last episode, we learned that Arm Candy is getting married at the end of this month. I don't know how he could have gotten over this so quickly, but he has, and he actually sent us an invite to his wedding. So, we're trying to save up enough money to go to Arm Candy's wedding and be all like, I object! No, Arm Candy! Don't you want this more? But we're dirt poor, so we can't afford to get to Arm Candy quite yet. So I had to pick up some extra jobs. I'm working for this local newspaper, and I have to write an article about this certain movie. The owner of the movie theater was like, Hey, Luba, you look good. You want to go see a movie with me? I'm going to buy you some red vines. And I was like, I don't know, maybe. So the decision was, do I go see the movie that my boss told me to go see and write a review on that? Or do I go with the owner of the movie theater and get some red vines and see this other movie that has not come out yet? Well, I looked at all the comments and I tallied up the votes. You guys decided that I should go see The Dirty Mackerel, but it was just by one vote. One! Look at my very professional tally system. Let's continue with this game. All right, here we are. The choice. Dirty Mackerel. <gasps> oh, he's upset. Nice. Of course, as you wish. This music. <laughs> Apparently it was a great film. Great movie. I didn't even get to see it. What the heck is this? Huh? Okay, day two. Day two! Because at the end of the month is when we have to go stop Arm Candy from making the biggest mistake of his life. Um, I mean, people clapped a lot, so I'm gonna say it was great. Oh, any more questions? Um, tell me more about your theaters. Yeah. Our theaters are the most popular test of film enthusiasts across the world with help of staff and a selection of movies and stuff in local Sony entertainment. Whatever your taste is, we got something that's bound to tickle your pants and your Do you have any more questions? I need to know about everything. I need to know about everything so I can write a very good, a very, very good article. What? He already said that. He already gave me that line about the tickling my fancy. I don't want my fancy tickled anymore, okay? Concessions, my favorite part. Nachos with jalapenos and a cherry icy. That is the key to a successful movie watching experience. If you learn nothing else from this series, learn that. With still no appreciation, I'd like to offer you this little grab bag. <gasps> swag bag, oh my gosh. Swag bag is like the best part of any event ever. $75, that is the swaggiest of swag bags I have ever swagged in my life. If you don't ask, if it's a bribe or not, then it's not a bribe, right? What if I just take his money and then write an honest review? Uh, I'm glad we understand each other. I understand that you just gave me $75 and um, I'm definitely gonna just pocket that and write an honest review. Oh, get away. Oh, shoot. I accidentally meant to put the other one, oh, whatever. Yeah, I figured. You're probably a, probably a right in the pockets, aren't you? Nobody cares about the little guy anymore. He forces a pamphlet into your hand. Here, take this. I have to go now. Please read it, we need your help. What a crybaby. What a crybaby. What's the pamphlet? Please save the apartments. The Sunny Meg Corp fat cats have too long been in the pockets of the city. Save the residents and say no to the corporate overlords. They're tearing down apartments to create a snazzy movie complex. 
Let's look for some trash food. Trash food. Oh, sweet. I found something. What did I find? <gasps> a dumpster scrap? My favorite. What? That gave me no stamina. Apparently, dumpster scraps are not a part of a well-balanced diet. Who would have known? All right. Ooh, catchy headline. Okay. State-of-the-art theater coming to Dubstep Town. Sunny Entertainment building new theater. New movie theater coming to Dubstep Town. Let's see. Okay, we want it to be, like, clickbaity. Can I change these to, like, I got arrested at four years old or something like that? I'm going to do the middle one. Yeah. <laughs> That's as factual as I can get. Okay, well... I need, right, I need, I now need a good intro to sink the reader into the story. Okay, mm, let's do Slasher Man 4. Nice, all right. Sunny Theater's still the cheapest option. Popcorn prices on the rise. Concessions remain a luxury. Mm, concessions remain a luxury for sure. I have to pay like 20 bucks for my nachos and icy. It's not fair. All right, Sunny Theater's is good for Dubstep Town. Sunny brings jobs to Dubstep Town. Sunny Theater upsets vocal minority. I gotta be, I gotta tell the truth. I gotta tell the truth. I guess you gotta think about people, you know, kicking them out of their apartments is, is pretty bad. Even though there's nachos involved, it's still, it's not forgivable. I'm gonna file the story. Boop. Guess there's nothing else for me to do but to go back to sleep. Oh, I wonder how the old lady's doing. No, I don't wanna look through the keyhole. I'm not creepy. All right, I say time to sleep. Oh, Patrick's paging me. Ooh, okay. He liked my article. That's good, good. All right, Patrick, all right. I rushed all over here. Great work on that story yesterday. As I promised, I... Oh, oh, wait. He looks like he's miserable with his life. As I promised, I got your pay ready. 100 bucks, just like I said. All right, guys. I just spent quite a lot of time at the employment center making tofu burgers and steaks and stuff for extra cash because I really need it, and it was really boring, so that's why I didn't record it or show you guys. But I just left, and I got this. Uh, my beeper went off, and this is a message from Rockstar Viper OD. Get to hospital. We need you. So, I'm scared. Oh, I have to check tomorrow. Visiting hours are over. Okay, let's go sleep right in my journal, but then definitely head over to the hospital right away, because Viper is the name of the crazy junkie lady who's like the ex-girlfriend of Dark Keith. So I'm a little worried, I'm a little worried. Oh my gosh, okay, got another message. Where the heck are you, Viper OD Hospital? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hold on, I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, my stamina is so bad right now. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. By the way, I got like $138, so. Them tofu steaks, man, I worked hard for my money. We're at the hospital, let's see what happened. Oh my gosh, there's Dark Keith, there's Viper. Luba, I don't know what to do. Viper, she's, uh, are you okay? What happened? Well, after we talked the other day, I thought a lot about what you said. Some of it's still hard to understand, even more of it's hard to swallow, but I realized that I couldn't be with Viper and stay clean. Good, guys, we did it, yeah. All right, good, good. With her in my life, there would be amazing highs, but we burned it out so fast to barely live. I want to get, do great things, Luba. Whoa, did you tell her that? I had to. I knew this was a possibility. If it had been me instead of her, I know I'd be right where she was trying to fix my sad, pathetic heart with as much junk as my veins could hold. But it was the right thing for me. At least, I thought it was. You're not guilty of anything, you know? She did this to herself and you don't have any responsibility. Why the heck are you beating yourself up over something you can't control? Because I'm an addict too. We're opposite ends of a seesaw and if one doesn't go down, then the other can never go up. Today she pays and tomorrow I will because that's the way it goes. <gasps> Why does she still have her sunglasses on her forehead? Wouldn't the nurses have taken that off? I know you don't have any money, so I don't know how she can afford to stay here. The label's helping out a lot, probably because they're worried the story will get leaked if she's not taken care of. Since I told them I wasn't going to do the rest of the tour though, they've kind of closed the con coin purse. It wouldn't be a problem if this doctor had, the, had a heart though. Uh, maybe he's not as heartless as you think. The least you can do is ask. I'm sure he'd listen at least. You've got to help me out. Go talk to him for me and work your magic. Okay, I'll talk to him. Oh, jeez. All right. Krusty Cream every morning. Every afternoon, Sunny Megaplex. After hours, Empire Pub. All right, sounds good. All right, we must find him. We must find the man. What time is it? It is the afternoon. 
All right, afternoon, he's at the movies. Let's see if we can find this doctor and convince it. Oh, why does he wear his doctor close to the movies? Dr. Bernstein? You got a second? What? Who are you? I'm your new best friend. You're looking after a friend of mine, and so I want to look after you. What can I get you? Popcorn? What on earth are you talking about? You're with that blue head tramp, aren't you? Money's tight, and it'd be saving a life. Do you think you could just make it happen? Come on, man. Uh, he won't do it for free? Why not? It's a life, isn't it? Not all lives are equal. Let that be a harsh professional opinion. Besides all that, I didn't come to own the old Hofstadter mansion working for free. Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Better go speak with Dark Keith at the hospital. Great, great. My muscles weren't enough to threaten this guy. I'm sorry, Dark Keith, I failed you. Uh, oh, he's got an idea. What, blackmail him? Break into his place? <gasps> Uh-oh, Hofstadter mansion just outside town? Oh boy. We're not, yeah, we're not master thieves. What? Are you kidding me? Smash up his car. Uh oh. Ugh. All right, let's go. All right, Dark Keith. Okay, we're at the mansion. <gasps> I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing a suit and a, like a, a mask thing. Wow, okay. I cosplayed for this. Good, I'm glad. Oh boy, okay. Here it is, the big decision of the episode. Do I smash the doctor's car or break into the doctor's mansion and try and find blackmail evidence? Which do I do? You guys decide. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think. I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you want to play this game for yourselves, I'll leave the link down below. It's a great game. I'm having so much fun playing this along with you guys, making you guys make all the tough decisions. But that is all for me. Luba out.